Alright, welcome back guys. This is What's the Look, <laughs> episode 5. We're here with a large group. We got Noah Brenner, Matt Rubenstein, Justin Jackson, Casey Rubenstein, Joyce Pagliuca, Dave Rubenstein, and I'm Will Pappas. Big group. How you guys doing? Well, you mispronounced Joyce's last name. <laughs> you tried your best. Oh, yeah. Pagliuca. Uh, so, Silent I mean, G. Yeah, Fuck. So We're all so we over that, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if this we is technically legal. I think he just like confessed all of us to like a. Fellow. No, we're not. He- we're not all here. We oh, are. Yeah. We we are on Skype. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Zooming in for this call. <laughs> yes. We we're on Zoom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. So the big topic. <laughs> The big oh, right. is that is that what the law is? Is there is there a rule about that? It's like a group of ten or more. Oh, ten or more. And, and we're all suggestion. Oh, okay. And we're all family. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, right. you know half of us are family. Wait. That's, true. That's a good point. <laughs> what is it? Eight people here. Four related. Yeah, yeah. But it's I mean, ratio. What if in the whole household, you got twelve. Yeah, well, we're not six feet. It's actually only seven. <laughs> well, seven. Oh, for sure. our viewers, let's remind them who Justin Jackson is. What episode was it when we uh, released his new song? It was episode two, right? <laughs> episode two. Uh... Justin is the creator of Gucci Gucci. That's right. This is the Justin Jackson. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Justin, do you want to plug other songs for the viewers? Oh yeah, of course. Um, always got a plug. Um, you know, right now we're really promoting Corona Lisa during the pandemic, trying to profit off that. Um, but also coming soon will be the O3 Camry music video. Oh, more shit. of a, we're going for a summer anthem. Are That's gonna be on old? YouTube, right? Damn. That'll be on YouTube, Justin Excellent. Jackson. Or if you want to search my old name, you know it will. J Dog. J Dog. J Dog. No, no, you used to say it on Xbox Live. What it's, was it? just it's, Jay. Just Jay. Just Jay. it's just it's just Jay. It's just Jay. How would Mike say that? He would be like, "It's just, just Jay." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll just dive right into it. As our viewers know, we've been having a drink bracket, and Woo! we are currently down to the final four. Mm. Now, even though Dave was calling it the final eight before that, this is the final four. So, Dave, would you let us know who the winners are so far? Well, right now, Stella Artois is going to face Angry Orchard. White Claw is going to face Karana on the other side of the bracket. And I think you're wrong about that name, Dave. It's actually, I or heard to- it's... Or twice? Or to- toys. Or toys. Or toys. No, I. Or toys. Let me see. Um, yeah, so Stella or toys beat Bud Light. <laughs> Angry Orchard beat Heineken. Labatt Blue lost to White Claw. Oh, shame. Yeah, it's a shame. I was pulling for him. And Corona beat Bud Light Platinum. Mm. Mm. Honestly, you know, a little surprised by a couple of the results. Angry a couple Orchard. of our fans are very upset with the results. They thought Blue Moon was going all the way. I, yeah. <laughs> and and <laughs> we, okay, Mike. well, I did actually vote for Blue Moon because I one of it's better than White Claw. But do you? As I'm sitting here drinking. Dude, White Claw. I'm drinking a White Claw right now. This thing's very good. See, the, the problem is with the White Claws is we didn't, like, we said all White Claws. We didn't pick a certain flavor. It's Most beers is one flavor. Like, Angry Orchard has mm-hmm. tons of flavors. We just mm-hmm. picked the normal one. Well, well, White Claw doesn't have a normal one. How about this? You there pick, does. No, oh, White Claw is, does have a normal it's one. It's seltzer. It's just plain no flavor, right? They have a oh, plain yeah. no flavor seltzer? Yeah, but, yeah. like, the original That's disgusting. White Claw isn't a plain one. It's, it's like the mixed box of all the different flavors. So, I well, I see it as this. I no see it as mix it you take one. the best one that you like of that brand and then they, you put it as yes. your top. Right. Good you're job. Gonna, you're going to take the one that you drink. Oh, I commented on that. I said, Stella, <laughs> all the way. And you may be right. This Stella's makes, got a tough path there. See, things yeah. like that make me hate myself. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Mm. What do you guys think of Corona? Are you guys Corona fans? I love Corona. Uh, Will it? I don't really drink beer. I'm not. A, are we fans of the coronavirus? <laughs> no, no just will. Be specific no. here. Well, I have heard from people that Corona is overrated. This Corona is overrated. Corona, corona Light. Well, let's see what it be. Well, light, let's see what it be. Extra, whatever you want. What size no. is it on? Extra. Isn't there Corona Premium? Pre- premier? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. I think they all pretty much. No, yeah, you're right. The there is? Oh, okay. Yeah. The light tastes like the, the same premium and extra. extra are really good. But you don't like light. No, I like it too. I like oh. it more. I like all beer. I, you know what? Give it. You put it in front of me. I'm gonna drink it. 
Somebody used to say to me that they didn't like Corona because when you open it up, it smells like weed. Mm. It's That's like, why it I like skunked beer almost. Like yeah. This. Interesting. I mean, I guess it kind of does. But like you throw a lime in there, it throws it right away. Like that skunk smell, I feel like yeah. it just goes right away. See, but I so, used to like it. That's so I interesting didn't really because mind it. I can't stand the smell of weed. Like yeah, I, me I can't neither. stand it. Can, but Corona's my favorite beer. And I like the smell when you open it. Can, so, can, can we? Can we so, <laughs> so do you really not like the smell? <laughs> can we do a can we do a fact check oh, why yeah. a lime is a thing in Corona? It's not a fact check, it's just a... Like, uh, the... History check? The origins? No, not his... The origins, yes. The origins. Origins of what? It's actually because you take the lime and the coconut and you mix it all up. Yeah, but why is that a thing? It's because it sounds good. They did that for, like... They did that for Coca-Cola. Yeah, it was for Coca-Cola. Well, yeah, why does someone put lime and Coke? Like, it just enhances the flavor. It gives it a better taste. I don't know. Yeah, but it's, like, the only beer that does that. So what do you guys think is going to go all the way? Orange and blue moon. Orange and blue moon. Okay, fine. Lemon and light. But it's not like I can put. Mm. Why can't I put a lemon? <laughs> no. You but hey, do, but like lemons are really good though. You could do yeah, whatever you want. That's like a tea though. You can put a lemon in there. Okay, but we're not talking about Bud Light lemon. We're talking about Bud Light's out. By the way, I don't even know why yeah, you're really yeah, them. Yeah, yo, what the <laughs> talking about? about? Why? Are you, why are we bringing that up? If yeah. you you can't see it right now, we have Who? an assortment of the beers that made it to the final four. We Who have owns Angry, Orchard. Angry Orchard. Dude, Who I'm talking. <laughs> Who owns Angry Orchard? Uh, Gluten free. <laughs> Why does that matter? Look it up. I want to look it up. Beer companies That's interesting. Like the same. So <laughs> like who owns Stella? Who owns? Probably Budweiser. We don't know. No. They no. Don't I think Stella. No, owns they're, they're, no, they own a lot. But of if Sam Adams. Made, if we made a Sam Adams owns what? Angry Orchard. Okay. Oh, okay. It's, but it's if we made enough. a soda bracket and we're comparing Coke and Sprite, we're not gonna say, oh, who's it made by? They're made by the same people. Who well, gives a fuck? We're comparing Sprite and Coke. Gatorade's made by Pepsi and all that. Listen, I don't give a fuck. We're, we're not doing that. Question, Joyce actually fact checked it for you. Really? To the, the lime? What was the original question, the Casey? Lime. The lime why, and the coconut. The why do you put a lime in, in your Corona? In your Corona. Yeah. So there are three reasons. One is to clean the tip of the bottle. Two to kill germs. Just the tip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to kill germs and shoot flies, and it masks the taste of skunky beer. Wow. Okay. So your theory was correct. So you're onto it's something. The way with that. The smell of the skunky beer. Thanks, Joyce. Oh, so is it? But well, like is a it, lime to beer is like adding salt and pepper bad? to any food. It's is, like isn't isn't it skunky beer bad better. beer though? Well, I meant like it's the smell. You mask the smell. Yeah. So should I add a lime to my Stella? So you don't like the smell mm. of Stella? Well, it's gonna clean this, the tip. Does <laughs> Stella <laughs> smell that? Wait, can I smell that? You just use rubbing alcohol. No, that. like that's true. That's <laughs> a good point. You're this is Corona alcohol. Light, by the way. It's a lot that lighter. That is like the smell of college. Oh, so which one? So what? So what beverage do you do you guys think is gonna go all the way? Corona. So you're a guest. You think oh, Stella? No. I think White Claw. You want Corona. Stella? What White do you Claw. think? No, I. <sighs> No, what do you think? Not what do you want. Like, what do you think is going to win? Yeah, he can I tell think us both. because people are so uncultured, mm-hmm. White Claw is going to go all the way. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Absolutely correct. Well, I think it's definitely coming from the eastern side of this bracket, the White Claw and Corona side. I mean, yeah. Stella, I think Stella's going to lose Angry Orchard because that was getting a lot of Angry Orchard's getting a I lot of votes. I think people actually like Angry Orchard that much. I don't like it that much. They just miss apple juice. It's like well, <laughs> super big. Up you in, like, you also have to Hampshire. understand that our audience right now is very small. We have very select people. Yeah, we do have a very you, you guys, well, yeah, but when East you're Coast. getting polls off of Instagram, like you guys have over how many followers? Like seventeen thousand. Two. Now. Yeah, you guys Bullshit. are like two, <laughs> two million, right? So that's that's. that's it's a good. Pretty, that's a pretty know, good like amount. Portion having, of America, having right? ten million followers isn't a good sample size. <laughs> yeah, we need more. We definitely need more. No, but I mean, I mean, this is our focus group right now. Like, it's, this is, it's really good. It's a good starter this drink. This is how Matt makes his makes his creation. What Come reality, your getting tied up. Oh, yeah, your, your pipe, your pipe, your pipe He's your forgotten pipe about it already. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I once this on. once this podcast uh, makes di- produces dividends, we're gonna put all that money to making our own liquor. What's the look liquor? Our vodka brand. What's the look yes. liquor. Wow, what well, flavors, well, Matt? Take the dividends and use it to pay himself back for all the equipment that he bought. Oh, no yeah. one compensated. Oh, yeah. wow. Expose that shit. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> put him on blast. Casey. It's also how you really feel. 
Um, so do our votes today with the beer uh, mean we anything, don't. or are we just going straight what? by Instagram still? Was there a poll Straight thing? by Instagram. Well, I mean, no, you no, still I'm vote. what we do. Oh, we still no. all get to vote on Instagram, so mm-hmm. it's still Instagram. Yeah. And if it's a tiebreaker, we go to the Facebook votes. Well, because we haven't even posted these polls yet, so this is just like the teaser for the people who are going to vote right, this week. Right, right. Shut up. <laughs> no, so we have all the beers here, all the drinks here today. We're all going to taste them. We're all going to let you know what we think, even though we've all drank in these beers before. Even that's, Is that a word? Drank and uh, drink. Sounds yeah. good. Game. Sounds fine. We've all drunk. We've no, all been drunk. Right. That's right. <laughs> no, but um, sounds like Stella's Dranked. getting a lot of, uh, you know, hard. Yeah, Stella doesn't seem know. to be the favorite right now. Yeah, Damn. people don't like Stella. There's a bunch I'm of Stella bros out Stella. there. I'm definitely voting for Stella. Well, I mean, Angry Orchard is just... Nah, are you going to vote for Angry Orchard? No, I'm probably going to vote for Stella. You're vote- Dave, are you going to vote for Angry Orchard? I would vote for Stella. Okay, Matt? Angry Orchard's a really good drink to start out with. Just uh, I, one. I, I, I didn't add, Matt, I don't care. We're in, we're in the middle of a podcast. We can't be messaging people on Hinge right now. Oh, Matt, we can't be oh, doing YOLO. I'm Matt. not messaging people on Hinge. Unless you're messaging about what they would vote for in the bracket. <laughs> Matt, what are you going to vote for, Stella? It's, it's hard because Angry Orchard, like, <laughs> when I first started drinking, I, I drank all the girly drinks, like Mike's and Angry Orchards <laughs> and stuff like that. And that was my go-to, but then I learned I got terrible hangovers from it. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Stella. <laughs> wow. Okay. It sounds like Stella's in the lead right now. Where's the uh, bottle opener? Oh, I got it. The battle axe. axe. The battle axe opener. So, so white claw Corona. White claw. I'm gonna say white claw. See, I just even I don't even think they. They belong in the same category. Yeah, like white claw is not even a beer. Well, actually, they do. They're both it's alcoholic, alcoholic beverages. Beverages. Uh, similarly, yeah. alcoholic no, but see, percent. no, but see, alcoholic beverages. But you didn't have any like vodka, like rum drinks on here. No, like something you would oh hold God, in hand. Did like, she no. just come here to shit on everything? No, but yeah, I'm just I know. saying you can't say it's alcoholic beverages when it was it was mostly beer. We did have four loco. What even is like? What do you classify for loco? We're not, we're not doing like a, a we're not doing a, a mixed drink that you, hard liquor. you order at a bar. It's so, like, but hard liquor. I'm saying like I feel like they're but something like, that comes that something that comes in a can or a glass that you can you quickly get from okay, the so fridge. Okay, so we did the first time. We did I liquor, was, not hard liquor. We did al- they they did alcoholic beverages that have out al- things that have alcohol in them. Every single thing that was on that bracket had yeah, alcohol I, I in it. Yeah, I know that. What well, seems to be the do? problem? It's, it's, she's it's, saying like straight out vodka. Oh, it, are you saying like you all, can't? He said it, well, this was all alcoholic beverages. Like, oh, you Definitely can't say all. this was Definitely all alcoholic all. beverages when it's not. It's strictly like things that you can buy in, like he said, a can oh. or a bottle. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, but. Uh, do you want my title of this to be alcoholic beverage that you can buy in from a can or a bottle? No. Can- <laughs> the original word doc actually said alcoholic beverages under 15% ABV. So like, I mean, uh, we could have okay. put that on the thing. Then that's, that's fine. fine. It really should have been alcoholic beverages you can buy from the gas station. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. So- yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Or any bar. You're right. You are right. You're right. I mean, you know what You're I mean? Right. Like. But I, I think you can put White Claw in the same category as, like, a Bud Light, because you go to the bar, and, like, you can get a Bud Light and get a White Claw. I mean, you know, I wouldn't compare Bud Light to a shot of whiskey or something yes. like that. Yeah. Like, that no, seems totally different. But I just feel like... Which one do you have a f- I, you enjoy having, sitting down, partying, drinking, that you enjoy to drink? I would say Casey White Claw, just takes a handle to the face every time, yeah, so it's kind of no, hard like, for her to choose. I would choose. say White Claw, but if I was just I just pound that step gun in my face. I don't know. Just That's turn why. Down, so you would pick so Corona over Stella? And turn back. Yes. Okay. And then release the so air we can, we very can Actually, slow. you know Imagine. what? I don't even know if I've ever had Stella, so that might not even be like a fair... Release the air very right. He has <laughs> put a lime in the Stella. How is it? Oh. Is it, it tastes germ-free. <laughs> is, it, is it better than normal it's Stella? It's repelled all the bugs. I think so, actually. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Well, you know what? Lime, lime in every beer. Maybe Corona actually is overrated, and limes just bring it up to uh, you know. You know you might uh, uh, maybe we should add it in the title with limes, mm. with or without <laughs> alcoholic beverages with lime. <laughs> Mike's hard with lime. Four loco with, with lime. lime. <laughs> well, what was that? I was texting Mike, and Mike's like, Corona is overrated. He's like. You know, and then I go, well, Corona's actually pretty good when you put a lime in. He's like, well, I don't see lime in the bracket, do I? And then he goes, I'll tell you what, there are other good beers there, like a blue moon with a fucking orange in it. I fucking love that shit. I'm like, Mike, I don't see orange on the bracket, do you? (laughs) Do I? Uh, Mike loves his blue moon. (laughs) Yeah. Mike loves Guinness. He was pretty upset that Guinness lost. Yeah. Fuck Guinness. all butthurt Guinness about Guinness. Oh, Guinness God. is like... Shitty. Shitty. Guinness is if you yeah. love it or you fucking hate it. Yeah, well, the only guess time what? I can drink Guinness is if it's an, an Irish car bomb. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Guinness is good. The only it's time I drank drink. it was when I was in Ireland. Like, I never have had it here. I, I like Guinness, but like... It's like one of the things you have to do. You get to two, Ireland, you have to have a Guinness. It's such a thick... The factory is cool. Is Guinness cheaper in Ireland? 
Um, it probably was. It probably has to be. It's probably it's most it's got to be more like common among imported. Yeah, it's like the people. I have there. heard that like having Guinness in Ireland. Like I know it, you know it makes sense, but in when you have it in Ireland, it's like a lot fresher and it actually tastes different. Like it's not the Guinness when you have here. When you have it more, like we had it, like when we were in Ireland, we were like, okay, we're just gonna drink Guinness. Like, <laughs> like we would have other things too, but for the most part, we were drinking that. Yeah, yeah. And you do like, you just get used to it. Like it's a good beer to like have there, uh-huh. I guess. But we did the factory, and that was really cool. But it's also like. I don't know. After a while, I was like, okay, I think my body's starting to reject it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right now we're going to go to topics about what people ex- thought of or came across during the week, anything they have in mind or, like, wrote down or something to talk about during the podcast. My sister told me recently she was on, like, a Zoom call or something with her friends, Zoom. and her her friend or her coworker presented them, literally presented them, like, a PowerPoint oh, presentation it? of why the, the Titanic never actually sank and why it's like a huge conspiracy it's not that the titanic didn't really sink it's that there was like the sister ship of the the titanic which looked exactly the same it was called the olympic Mm -hmm. and it was like i guess like a year or two before or whatever it was in a bad uh accident like some whatever and they tried to it was like it was in a bad accident with like the royal navy or something and so because it was in the accident they tried to get the insurance money to pay out and the insurance money never paid out. And the Titanic and, I guess, the Olympic were both owned by J.P. Morgan. And so because he never got paid out on the insurance money, he dressed up the Olympic to make it look exactly like the Titanic and, like, made it the Titanic and everything. And they never even, like, promoted it. Like, when the Titanic was finally set sail, like, they didn't, like, make a big thing out of it. They just kind of sold tickets real quick and, like, hush-hush and, like, got it out to sea. So- and then they purposely ran it into like an iceberg not to like sink it but just to like damage it so that they get paid out on the insurance that they never got paid out on but I, but I guess they got fucked up that's a stretch and so no and here's here's the kicker it's like one the difference between the two boats basically is that one has 16 portholes and one has 14 portholes and if you look at like the um the, the pictures wreckage. the pictures of when it like originally went out to sail it like has however many it's supposed to have that the olympic had and not the titanic and then the other thing is, like, the VIN number, essentially, on all the parts on the ship, it was, like, there was, like, one was 400 and one was 401, and everything they pulled up from, like, the middle of the sea, like, now afterwards, has, like, the VIN number for the Olympic. So, a question. Damn, they do got the think, movie all think, wrong. Do you think it's a conspiracy, too? After here, do I think it's say? conspiracy? Yeah, I mean, like, obviously I mean, it's a conspiracy. Like, no, but obviously it's not. Do you believe it? Like, do you believe that that's So you're saying Jack yeah, sure, died on a sister ship. Yeah. Yeah, but at the end of the day, this, this people crashed and people exactly. died. No, I, that's the yeah. significant part. But yeah, you're the saying, significant part is people what, still died. What, yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, what's hard to believe is that they did it purposely to get money. What happened? Money. Insurance money. So no. Insurance so money. what Noah is just saying is the Titanic's not actually the Titanic. Right. It's, it's the, the Olympic. Saying, it's just redress. Where is I don't the give Olympic a fuck right what the name is. People crashed the boat and they died. But where is the Olympic right now? On the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I mean the the Titanic. The other Olympic, I don't know. Wow. So, because they must have made the Titanic look like the Olympics. So right? how Damn. could they hide the Titanic? Then? James Cameron must feel like such no. an idiot right now. <laughs> <laughs> like he should have. He completely one. got the title wrong. I mean, Olympic would sound cool too, right? I'm As surprised this cool. isn't in like a Netflix documentary because they got ones on like on 9/11 yeah. and all that. But yeah, okay. Okay. Whoa, Matt, Matt, whoa, whoa. you can't bring that up right now. What? You're really bringing up 9/11 in a podcast? Come on, too soon. Wait, wait. See, so, see, so you know, so like you think when they when they dove down to see the boat at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know if they can dive that far. No, they have. They have. They, so they, they send stuff down there, but they don't yeah. dive. It actually crashed in one of the more shallow parts of the ocean. I don't know if you're full of shit. It looks like you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's two miles, two to five no, miles No, they, they have videos deep. of it. I feel like if you named it the Olympic, though, although it would be a really cool name, just as cool as the Titanic, a lot of people would, I mean, at least I would, yeah, they, they, relate they, it to, like, Greek. They they like send Olympia, a robot down Olympic, there. Olympic, whereas Titanic is different. It's, it's oh, what's this? Busy Matthew. Busy hard cider. Get on but, this, Matthew. Can we fast forward to the picture of the actual name Titanic on this boat? <laughs> See, Dave, they actually don't go down. Dave, that, they that, that video was yeah, like that was <laughs> a <laughs> shitty video. <laughs> that was a shitty video. <laughs> Nothing we didn't see. I mean, some grade. people thought about like <laughs> bringing up the Titanic and putting it in a museum. 
Yeah, why didn't they? I think it's that's so, so fucking big. big. Why it's, it's hard. It's an ecosystem, Justin. There are fish living inside of it. <laughs> First of all, well, metal wait, from wait, wait, its God damn it, I didn't know. know. <laughs> I have a question about, like, actually, like, how the Titanic sank. Because, like, I know, hey, but I feel like I don't really know. I know it hit an iceberg. Yeah. But, like, my whole thing is, did they not see it? Like, was it, like, underneath? Okay, I got you for you. Okay, so, yeah, so my point Don't is... Don't turn like, the mic away from her. If they tried to hit the iceberg to damage it, how would they have known the iceberg was there? Because it was underneath. Well, there was... That was the, the whole point. The iceberg both is above water and below water. I know, but I thought in the movie they didn't, like... All right, well, the movie could be anything. Come on. Well, in the movie, there's not they even, see... There's well, not even a real movie. The, movie. the movie is all real. That no. was all live yeah, footage. That's, I know it's not yeah. real, What are you talking thought, about? That's Leo what I'm talking lives. about. James Cameron but, got it all wrong. No, but this is why I'm confused. Got I'm the like, wrong camera shots. they saw the fucking glacier, why didn't they move the boat into a different, like, direction? You're telling me that well, that picture's so fake, Casey. That's all real so right there. There's, there's actually there, a photo. there was a actually, guy I'm on not, scene oh taking God. pictures iPhone. of the incident. You're so fucking annoying. There, you know that's not what I meant. There's a lot to your question, I, there, and I can, was, actually, I can actually answer there every was, aspect of there it. Was another, hear, there was another... Shut was, up! Wait, You're, like, taking wait, over the podcast. There was, you want to hear what Will has there to was, say. There was someone on a neighboring iceberg taking photos. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, I know it's happening. This boat's about to crash. We get the all on film. You know that's not what I meant. I'm, like, actually asking a serious question. <laughs> You're asking why they didn't veer away from the. Yes, iceberg? like did did you so imagine someone like, like there's two answers. I yeah. actually don't know. Like well, the 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 the, uh, the answer in the real situation on the Titanic, not the fucking movie. Like in the real yeah, scenario yeah. of it right. crashing, in, did they not see the in, iceberg in the world? So right when it happened, the there's world. there there's there's two things. There's one. The guy, the, sh- the captain's like, this ship is indestructible. We don't need to be scared of an iceberg. So they kept going and didn't change course. The other side to it is that the ship actually could have survived the, s- the iceberg, but there was, actually, there was actually a material science reaction called brittle, uh, sorry, um, uh, ductile brittle fracture. So when the, wo- the, the metal on the ship was in the cold water, the steel goes from ductile fracture to brittle fracture. So what happens is when that thing hit the iceberg, it didn't bend the steel. It ripped the steel in a brittle way. So if that was in warm water, I know there's no icebergs in warm water, but it wouldn't have done that. So oh. really, it could have gone through the iceberg. Okay, but who th- – so they think their ship is, like, the best, whatever. But why would you even take the chance – like, how could you even drive through an iceberg? Like, what? Well, like, why it was would you dark out. Okay? I don't think they could see it either. Yeah, you so that was my question. Yeah, that was my question. Did they close. not they see it? They have radar yeah. back then. So my question was, if they didn't see the iceberg, how could they have purposely tried to damage it in Noah's... I situ- took, that's yeah, actually so that's a valid it. point. That yeah. was my whole question. Okay. We're all like... Or they just they went through the Arctic Circle, almost like the Arctic Circle, right? Yeah. Well, they're pretty high up there. They're pretty high up in the cold. I think there's also a lot more icebergs back then than there are now, probably. Yeah. And then, two, I think they could probably still see the iceberg to some extent, so I, I definitely think if they saw a large iceberg, they could hit an iceberg if they tried. Yeah. And the other thing I heard, but this has nothing to do with the conspiracy, is more that they, like, saw the iceberg and they tried to turn away from it. I'm sure that, like, the iceberg that's above the water is, like, a lot smaller than the, what's oh, below, yeah. so it could but, probably extend out a lot more yeah, yeah. what's below. But, um... The confidence was That they, like, hit high. it and they, like, turned... And so the turn, like, if they had just like hit it and gone straight through, it would have been all right. But, yeah, it, like, ripped up more of it, and that's why it sank. And the, I don't know if, if it's the, true if or not. If the fucking captain didn't just go down with the ship, he could have explained what happened. <laughs> but <laughs> how they impacted it. You know, he didn't want to, like... He just left so much mystery. <laughs> oh. You know, there was actually another malfunction, too. In that, in the hull, yeah. right, they can actually shut off, close off the bottom half of the boat, and not and that doesn't allow water to come up. So, essentially... The Titanic would sink maybe 20 feet, and then it would be fine because the rest of the boat would be closed off. You close off where the water's coming in. Exactly. So there was actually a malfunction with one of those Doors. locks. Yeah. 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 And then they filled couldn't up too do many that. Rooms. Yeah. It filled up too fun. much. And then that's because the, like, the Titanic was like one of the first up. ships to use that system. Like mm-hmm. even when they breach water, they have like these doors that can just shut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also heard the Titanic was built pretty cheap. If it was. The Titanic. Yeah. Uh, they use a really cheap type of like steel and rivets mm-hmm. to make the hull. And if they made it out of like what they said they were gonna make out of, they yeah. probably would. Imagine probably you're, would have made the trip. you're just like in the water there, and you see this massive boat, pitch black outside, and you see it like <laughs> that, lifting that up was, out that, of the water. That's yeah. an awesome picture that they took that day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there, no, the guy who didn't take the picture, he was drawing it as it was happening. <laughs> oh. Oh on the God, boat, right? Yeah, no, on the iceberg, on the iceberg, yes. sitting there with his pad. So, of paper. but like to to your question though about it the conspiracy, Jack. when the Olympic, while he was laying on the door. 
Oh, yeah, hey, Mac, oh, hey, yeah. like one of your friends. Hey, 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 Dave, can you look up the Olympic versus the Titanic? Because I can't remember at the time either the Olympic was longer than the Titanic or the Titanic was longer than well, the Olympic. Well, according to Noah, they were the same boat. No, one of them, one no. of them was 16 portholes and one was 14 portholes. Not so I guess portholes, one, but like one is recorded, one is recorded, one is longer than the other. Right, so I'm assuming the one with 16 is longer. And you know, like, like you said, like it wasn't much political. Publicity at the time. I mean, everyone knows Titanic okay. was the world's Can largest we go ship back for at the a second? time. Why? Did, wait, who did someone get? Did somebody give a presentation? You said about this. Yeah, my sister's coworker. For what? For but what? Why? It's like she an was article, right? Or something? Like for no, what? Just for like a drunk. Like quarantine, nothing like, else to I do. Think it's, okay. That's uh, it's crazy. Can I wow. say one last fact? Yeah. So w- when uh, when ice freezes, <laughs> it expands, mm-hmm. right? So this is the Bill Nye ice, segment. Yeah. yeah. Well. So <laughs> when, when <laughs> crazy sign shit before, like here 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 is Double global warming fracture. for you, right? So it when exist. when when it's God's, God's snowing outside, God's just God's just hugging us a little bit closer. <laughs> well, it's cold outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go Neil deGrasse real. Tyson on your ass, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> No, but so water freezes, right? And it expands. So when it expands, it actually takes up in when ice freezes in water, it takes up the same amount of volume as the water did that just froze. That's why the iceberg sticks out of the water a little bit and the majority is underneath because the majority underneath is taking up the space that the original water that froze took up and the extra the expansion volume is what's above the water. I want everyone to know that Will Pap has helped me pass camp yeah. school. <laughs> <laughs> so, now to global warming. That's why glaciers that are in the water, when they right. melt, they're actually not raising Creamy. the sea yeah. level because the the volume yeah. that they take up is is the same when they melt versus when they're frozen. Right. The problem is the glaciers that they're are on land. on land that yeah. melt; those go into Dave, the water. Dave, right. Will's story. You yeah. keep interrupting. And, but which way? That's the North Pole, right? That's on land. Glaciers no, I think Antarctica. Yeah, no. Well, Antarctica, Antarctica too. Yeah, 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 an an major. But I think a lot of Antarctica is also is on land, yeah, isn't it? All, there yeah, is land I, I'm sure they. Bought, I haven't looked so into where. But will like, the North Pole can? It would be really sad. It could all melt, <laughs> but we'll all, all be okay. It's when the South Pole all melts. We'll, we'll be destroyed. <laughs> It'll be over. <laughs> Fuck Uncle the polar also. bears, the penguins matter. All right, here's a topic that's been going around that Justin sent us in our family group chat, and it was on Barstool. And the question is, would you rather fart only once a year? Well, Dave, this is a very important question. And I, th- it is I think it is. Question. I think. Would you rather fart only once a year, but it's the worst smell in the world, and you smell for two weeks, or fart like you do now, and it doesn't smell, but color of gas comes out of your ass? Would you? Which, I feel like this is. You this guys is like said color easiest, gas, this right? Is like the easiest answer because. <clears throat> Like, who wouldn't want their farts to smell yeah. <laughs> anymore? But Matt didn't pick that one. Well, yeah, because Matt is Wait, like a different Wait, you wouldn't breed. get the colored gas? <laughs> no, I would. I oh. would take the No, because who gas. wouldn't want yeah. their farts And also, to it kind of makes... the technical news. <laughs> you can blame it on you someone just, else, too. You just quarantine yourself for two weeks, and you're good. But the worst you, smell oh, yeah, in the world... Think, think about Wait, it. Think about it. You won't have to fart anymore, so, like, there's no... smell bad for you, too? Like You won't have to fart anymore, so there's no need to think, like... could be, like, the best like, smell in the hey, world. Hey, if I fart... You know I how you like your own farts? Myself. You like your own brew? Anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think... There's no accidental shats anymore, because you don't have to fart. You but just have to go through that two weeks and you're done. How often do you What are you talking about? You're still farting. It's just... The air that's coming out of your ass is just... Doesn't smell and it's colored. Yeah, so no, he's what if, about I, the first what if one. I'm a teacher? What if I'm a teacher? I'm I think my... the colored gas makes life more happy. <laughs> what if my t- I, what what if you be walking down the street? Ah, oh, oh. look at look at that rainbow. <laughs> Wait, so is way it a to go, colored? buddy. Maybe oh, if you're a clown. You pick the <laughs> so I yeah, asked my mom. Sure. So I asked my mom. I read the question to her. She goes, oh, oh my gosh, I would just want to fart once a year. Like, why would you want to have colored gas coming out of your ass? Everyone would know that you're farting. And I go, but who would give a shit? But everybody would be in that same boat. I know. I'm no, like, but listen to it. Smell. Ready? Who cares? Ready? That, listen that's this. the worst thing about farts. Like, I, as a, as a physical therapy student, have worked with patients while I'm stretching them, and they fart, and I don't care about the stretching noise. Stretching them where? Like, <laughs> like a hamstring <laughs> stretch, and they Groin. rip one. <laughs> And, like, it's just the smell because you're standing right, like, over them. You gotta stretch your inner muscles. In my but face. you know what? If it was, like, a colorful gas, I'd, I'd be, be like, like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. But if it's the smell, I'd be like, all right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but Kaiser Rainbow. Hey, Katie, I mean, you wanna see something cool? Oh this is for God. you. I know your favorite color is pink. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wait, what? He's saying a patient, if a patient did that, like, this is for you. <laughs> 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 So, <laughs> I 
That's what I said. What if you're like a third grade? <laughs> what grade did you teach? What grade did you teach? Third grade. Joyce taught third grade. If what? she's shooting what? red gas out of her ass, they're all gonna start <laughs> laughing. Not if they're doing it too. So maybe if <laughs> it, it offsets itself. You have a clap. Fuck you, Jimmy. I just saw orange come up out of your ass. <laughs> Third grade farts are actually like, the worst smelling farts. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's because of the, the worst, fucking cafeteria The worst food. thing about a fart isn't the fact that, like, someone does it or that it makes a noise. It's the fucking smell. Like, I don't, like, it's a normal thing, but when it fucking smells, Dude. you don't want to be around it. <laughs> like, I know everybody farts, so who cares if colored gas comes out of your ass? Whoa. If it's Whoa. the worst smell in the world for Whoa. two weeks, that's like a Whoa, super Casey, power Casey. <laughs> None of us here fart. You're the only <laughs> one. Dude. Speak for yourself. R- really Girls not, poop? Not Ew. Yeah. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> it's like, like Matt, Matt could never hard, uh, Matt, hide a those, fart uh, in his life. How are those toes? Matt has option number two, but all the time. Uh, My most traumatic experience is probably on the cruise ship. <laughs> Dave, like and Dave, Matt, Dave and Dave Matt were could fighting. Fucking, Dave could murder somebody. Like Dave is the golden child for my grandma. She calls him the Daverit, as in the favorite. Like he's the favorite child. She says that I gave him the name because I brought it up one day. Dee I love you, and I know you love all of us if you're listening. But <laughs> David, me, Dee Dee. but David is the favorite, and that's fine. We've accepted it. Like he could murder somebody, and she'd be like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you." Like it's <laughs> like whatever. So she got so mad at all three of us i've never seen what are you talking her. about on the cruise yeah, yeah. like she got mad because at all of dave, us because dave and matt were like <laughs> throwing each other in the cruise cabin like against the walls <laughs> and then allegedly someone called like you know whatever the front desk or some shit and said <laughs> like complaining about the noise and all that yes and a- <laughs> allegedly oh someone was cringing. walking around with um, <laughs> Dee Dee and Uncle Ronnie's pictures. Remember that? Like, looking for the people that oh, yeah, have like they, their names like, in those cabins. They knew who was living in each room, and yeah. they had and pictures of And they take a picture when you get on the boat or whatever, or right? Or do you think she was lying about that? I think she's lying about I think she, that. I think she lied to us. I think she was like, they know what we look like, and they're coming after us because you guys are so freaking loud, and you're blah, blah, blah. And I think we were all like, oh, my God, they're coming after us. Definitely. Right? I would do it to my she kids. She said they were going to stop the <laughs> or my ship, grandkids. and they were going like, to kick us off the ship or something. Did you remember <laughs> yes, that? Yes, yeah. And we were, like, Just traumatized. Dump she, you in the water. There was, like, I think there was, like, I'll ask her tomorrow if she made that all up. I think mean, it was like they were going to helicopter us off the ship back yes. to land. And I was like, well, now Wait, I'm like, no, there's yes, no she way. Did say that. They, yeah, but like now I'm like, there's no way they would ever do that. They don't do that unless it's like for someone who like murdered we're, somebody we're or bad, something. Man. How how old were you? Like 12. Oh, okay. 13. Nah. Uh, no, I think I older. was maybe 12. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah. guys were like 15. 14, yeah, 14, because 15. we act like children all the time <laughs> when we're together. Like we... God, yeah, just, we were idiots. It probably we sounded idiots. like there was like someone assaulting somebody, like probably. walls being smashed, Wait, bodies can we talk? So I have a nice uh, bathroom story. Uh, uh, basically, I found out that drinking apple ju- a lot of apple juice in the morning gave me like uh, stomach problems and gave me a lot of bathroom problems. So I figured that out and I stopped drinking that. But okay. during those times, I was still Actually, drinking that. Um, we had football practice in eighth, uh, was it sixth or seventh grade? And practice ended. After practice, I'm like, I'm like to my dad and Dave, I can't, I can't make it. I have to, I have to take a shit. <laughs> I can't go. I have to go to the bathroom <laughs> really badly. So we kind of wait a little bit till more, a couple of the other parents and kids leave, and I go in the woods. So, so I go in the woods, and and I do. I didn't know. Like I was so confused. Like I'm usually, I sit on the toilet to go to the bathroom. So I'm like. Do I stand? Do I crouch? Do I find a rock and just hang over? <laughs> I couldn't find it, and I just couldn't hold it. So I did my business as best I could. And it turns out, like, I got all pretty much a lot of it. I couldn't tell. I couldn't remember because I didn't look. I didn't know how much you didn't look. I, I, I got in the car. Oh, my butthole's all clean. I can go back to practice. It wasn't practice, but I gave my car, and apparently I didn't aim very well, so I got it alive in my pants and stuff like that. His football so pants. So my football pants. So I had my underwear pants. up. I had my underwear up, but my football pants. I didn't even look down. I didn't even see the damage. I just know I was in the car staying up, not buckling my seat. We get home. We take all my stuff. We just throw it me in the wash. Did, my dad know. took off all his stuff after practice, and it was all covered. And shit, and he threw in the <laughs> trunk. What? And Matt's in the car. 
Oh, Dad, hurry! My stomach, it hurts, I'm gonna poop. And I'm in the back, and my dad's like, I'm driving fast, man, I'm driving fast. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, <laughs> look at this, look at this. It's, the smell was so bad, and I was just like, I was like putting my hands over my face, and out the window. Dad, hurry! <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. it. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% sure he said, I'm not gonna make it. (laughs) A few times. That's exactly what he said when on Thanksgiving. Oh my god. (laughs) You talk about that. So, was this last Thanksgiving or two? It doesn't matter. No, it was uh, 2018. Thanksgiving 2018, 2018, the night that I was dealing with the same fucking shit. All right. <laughs> Literally. So, 2018, Thanksgiving, um, decide to do the whole, like, we're going to go to White Plains, Plains and, like, hang out and, like, see everyone from our high school. Why do we want to do this? I don't know. We're doing it. Jesus, you're crying. I know. I was laughing so hard at the story. But um, who's in the car? Me, you, Matt? Me. I think it was just me, you, and Matt. Yeah, and, so and, and Jeannie and, and Jay's mom. Yeah, so me and Justin. <laughs> she was driving. Oh, yeah. Me and Justin and Matt are in the car. Justin's mom is amazing. She's being our DD for the night. And, like, we're, we've been at his house for a little bit. Matt didn't have to go to the bathroom. He's fine. No, I did go to the bathroom in our house. We get into the car, though, and he's oh, like. Do you. you have apple cider? I think no. you did. Were you drinking Angry Orchards? No, no. I don't know. He gets to the car, though, and he's like, Aunt Jeannie, like, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta go before we go to the bar. She's like, we, we gotta stop. And she's like, I, Matt, I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna stop. I don't know where stop. we can go. Matt, he's like, I, oh, uh, I just, uh, uh, you gotta oh, stop. We just, we just passed the gas station, Aunt Jeannie. You can go. We can go there's there. There's a McDonald's no, no, down there. No, 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 go there. He goes, he goes, no, there's a hospital. Just pull over there. I'll go into the hospital. I'm like, what the fuck? Can you even go into a hospital just to poop? Like, I don't yeah. think so. And he's like, I'm not, he said, I'm not gonna make it. I'm, I'm not, not gonna make it. I don't think. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, is there a bathroom at the bar? Oh yeah. Um, so uh, wait, and Jeannie, go to McDonald's. So <laughs> he's like freaking out in the back. I'm, I'm, I'm like afraid we're gonna have like a, an explosion or something. Whatever. We get, we get to the bars. I don't even think Matt gets online with me and Justin. He's like, I gotta go. He walks to the Marriott. No, Crown, Crown Plaza. Oh sorry. Yeah, Crown is it Plaza. a Marriott though? No. Doesn't, whatever. Does it really fucking matter? <laughs> it's a Crown Plaza. I walked 15 blocks. I walked to a two to fucking- three. Blocks. <laughs> the bars are here. It, like, uh, and Carlton, I, right? Oh, maybe it's, it's Rich Carlton. No, it's, no, you're right. It's, it's the, the Crown, Crown Plaza. It's the Crown it's Plaza. The Crown and Plaza. he knew to go there because someone else in my family has gone there to take uh, my dad. Shit. Yeah, you just. <laughs> it's a nice bathroom. It's a nice it's bathroom. Very nice. So he I can goes, see the Crown from here. <laughs> yeah, so he goes, he goes, he comes back. We find him. We're like, oh, Matt, you're back. Then we lose him again. I'm like, Matt, where are you? He's like, I'm walking back to the Crown Plaza. I'm like, again? <laughs> again? And let me, it was like freezing that yeah. night, right? Yeah. yeah, so I had like jeans and my long shirt on. And it was my second time going to Crown Plaza. And I'm like, I know what to do. So I got like, I was scared the first time going because the guy at the front desk is going to be like, who the fuck are you? Like, you don't don't have a reservation here or whatever. And they're like, you know, luckily the first time people were talking to him. So I just went like, I just saw the by. sign for the bathroom. I just walked by. Good. No one was in the bathroom. Did my stuff. It was great. Fantastic. Did my stuff. <laughs> I, I was, it was a really nice bathroom. We just watched the movie. Well, I watched it already. Yes. Uh, don't breathe. Oh. <laughs> the movie Don't Breathe. The Wait, is, is that, that the movie? one with the blind guy going after people? Yeah, you saw it. Oh, it's really good. And yeah, invis yeah. and uh, we recently saw The Invisible Man. Have you seen good it? Movie. Amazing movie. Uh, okay. Did we see that together? It was fine. Yeah. It wasn't amazing. It was. I, I, solid. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. Mm-hmm. I feel way, like you didn't really take any risks. Way too abrupt of an ending. <laughs> what was the ending again? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It just yeah, ended. Yeah, that yeah, was the ending. It just. Yeah. I, think I, it might, like, I, I think it might. I think it might be a sequel. Maybe. We can't give it away. We We've contemplated that, but it just talked. Right, anyway, like spoiler, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! I didn't like how like all of a sudden oh, like the brother was involved. Never gonna get to my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there should have been like an end, an end like fight scene. Like there should have been something else to it that like would really bring it to that point, and then it was just like oh, the the husband or whatever dies. That would be cool if they, were, if, they, yeah. if, he, if they if they both like, ran to put on their invisible suits and they started fighting each other. Yes, <laughs> that's what see, I wanted. That's just, exactly you what just I wanted. You see shit moving everywhere. Yes. <laughs> that's what I wanted. It's like they're exactly dragon balls. You, you knew since the beginning the brother was crazy because he was the lawyer that was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like you're crazy. No, I like, know, but I'm like the fact that like he, I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was simple. It was good. It, uh, it didn't really take too, like too crazy of a risk, but. Anyway, mm. what my scenario was, if I could actually ever get to it, is those movies are kind of similar in a way. Is that guy, that guy can't see anything, 
you can't see the invisible man. And my question is, would you rather fight blind, can't see anything, would you rather fight someone who's invisible? Someone who's oh, invisible. Man. Someone who's visible, right? Yeah. How because you that? need to know your surroundings, you could, too. You could take out yeah. clues from by, like, you know, other things, like, their footprints on the carpet. Well, obviously, you have a hard but report. If you're, if, but if you're blind, you can just pick up through different senses. A flower on the ground. Yeah, like but you have... you're hearing. That's you why have... that guy was, like, cr- crazy good at finding where they were. Because yeah, yeah but isn't being blind they... worse because you can't see anything? You can't even see the room you're running yeah, in. Yeah, right. invisible yeah. man, you have all your senses. But then again, mm-hmm. like, if he's really good at what he does, the invisible man... You're fucked. Well, how about how about the reverse? Would you rather be in the invisible suit or be fighting someone who's blind? Hmm. I'd rather be in the invisible suit. <laughs> I I think uh, I'd rather have a guy who's blind. I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather the fight a blind guy. Do you know how many things you could do in the invisible suit? I mean, yeah, do you get to keep the invisible suit after the fight? No, no, it's just for the fight. Wait, 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 wait. I get to fight in the suit? Like, you're, you're fighting... You're the invisible man. Or... You're fighting someone who's blind. No, because that blind guy was a fucking badass. So, Dave, yeah. what, 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 what would you What would you choose, do? Dave? I would fight the invisible man but so then, I could see the surroundings around me. Well, think about Matt. Like, if he if he hit, like, a curtain when he was running by or something, I could see that. Right. If yeah. I'm blind, I can't see anything. All right, uh, let's call yeah. it a wrap. Yeah. Um... You might have to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, Spotify. All right, see you guys. Check, 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 you can. You're putting the uh, first picture, first picture, first picture, first picture.